Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Probiotics are being marketed as good for all kinds of ailments, but new research out of the University of Calgary published today in the New England Journal of Medicine shows they do not help children with stomach bugs. Dr. Stephen Friedman is one of the lead researchers on this study, and he joins me now this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, man. Thanks Thank so you for, for being me. here. Oh, it's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit uh, about this study in general, maybe how you sort of set it up to begin with. Yeah, so what we did is we actually enrolled children from across the country at six sites in Canada, and we actually simultaneously conducted a study in the United States where we enrolled kids at 10 sites. So in total, about 2,000 children were enrolled in two different studies where we randomized them to receive either a probiotic or a placebo, essentially like flipping a coin. And then we looked and followed them for about 14 days to see whether that actually improved their symptoms, made the diarrhea and vomiting go away sooner. Okay, and what did you find? Unfortunately, we were, we were optimistic when we started. We were hoping we'd find something we could offer to parents with knowledge, information that could actually improve their symptoms. But both studies found almost nearly identical results that the group that received the probiotics did no better than those who received the placebo. So no improvement in symptoms? No, and we looked at lots of different subgroups by age, by frequency when they came in of diarrhea or vomiting, how long they had had the symptoms, if they had gotten antibiotics recently, and once again, the findings in both studies were that there was no benefit associated with the probiotics. Wow. So this is contrary to a lot of the marketing out there when it comes to these probiotics. What do parents do with this knowledge? Well, I think it's really important that now that we have this knowledge. These studies are way larger um, independently funded, so there's no industry involvement, um, and they really answer a question. Really, the tr in, in reality is, there had been no studies, aside from one done in the U.S. Uh, about five years ago, in kids with vomiting and diarrhea in a North American emergency department. And that study actually, similarly, was negative. Okay. So really, this body of literature now gives a pretty strong body of evidence that clinicians can give solid evidence-based recommendations to parents about where to focus their energy and efforts in kids. Okay. So where should parents then focus their energy when it comes to their kids when they're not feeling well. Yeah, so if they're having diarrhea and vomiting, the most important is to prevent dehydration. Right. So maintaining hydration and really not focusing too much on food if they're having a lot of vomiting, but really focusing on drinking. So small amounts frequently um, really is the best way to tolerate liquids. And once they're doing that, then really reintroducing a normal, healthy diet as soon as possible. We actually know from some studies from 20, 30 years ago, that's probably the best way to make the diarrhea stop sooner. Okay, there you go. So what can we take from this research, though, when it comes to even, say, adults who want to take a probiotic on a daily basis? Can we make some extrapolations there? Not from this study. These okay. studies really were focused on children with infectious diarrhea in emergency departments. Okay. So this doesn't really get into the whole sphere of daily taking probiotics for intestinal balance or gastrointestinal health. Right. I mean, I will say those claims are very generic claims permitted by Health Canada as well as similarly in the U.S. that uh, manufacturers of probiotics can make based on the assumption that probiotics are generally regarded as safe products. Okay. Um, but there isn't a lot of science to back them up. Um, and, you know, there's probably better, better for us to focus our efforts on other things. Okay, there you go. Well, Dr. Friedman, thank you so much for this, and congratulations on the study. My pleasure. Thanks so much. All right. We're going to go for a break here on Breakfast Television.